guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on gravestones. So this is a fantastic plugin which you can see in action in front of me. So not only has a gravestone spawned, which has my loot in, a zombie also spawns. You can set the percentage chance of this happening. I've set it to 100 just for this tutorial. And obviously there was a nice um, schematic gravestone that you can actually change. And there was a hologram on top. So if I kill myself again, uh, let's just do that now you will see a message in chat it says you have died a gravestone has been placed and it gives you the coordinates if I go back it shows you um, who died rip LT Jim and when it expires so it gives a countdown in the hologram which is absolutely fantastic and it has quite a nice gravestone here so uh, all you have to do is right click a GUI will pop up you can grab your stuff unless a zombie spawns and uh, kills you again you can also turn this off for combat situations so if you die from PvP you can set it so your items drop normally onto the ground rather than spawning in a gravestone so before we hit the config files we are going to create our own gravestone schematic so let's do that now very 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 quickly um, I'm just gonna make a bad one but uh, you can make a really detailed cool one if you want so let's go ahead and use our oh, mossy and cracked bricks let's make it look really really evil and scary and spooky so um, it will spawn one block down so we are going to do a layer of this uh, like this seems to be getting a few lag spikes but uh, it's expected as I'm running quite a few things on my computer at the moment and we are just going to uh, pop these here to make sort of a gravestone how does that look I mean, it doesn't look brilliant, but it, it will do. Um, so that will spawn one block down. And if I place this here, that doesn't look any better. So we are going to pop this here and put a sign on top. We're going to put two apostrophes on each line like that. That is where the hologram is going to spawn. And once you've done that, get your world edit axe out. Select it with world edit like this. Delete those blocks that we don't need. We then need to copy it to our clipboard, save it as a schematic, schematic, save, and call it gravestone, like that. And now we are going to have a look at the config file and obviously change it. So here we are in the gravestones folder, and as you can see, there is only one schematic in here. I've deleted the other one, which is gravestone.schematic. We are going to go into our plugins folder, go into world edit, go into the schematics. We are going to copy the gravestone.schematic that we just made and pop it in here. And then we're going to reload the server and have a look at it in a minute. But let's have a look at the config file. This is pretty cool. So you can enable uh, auto updates. How many seconds before the gravestone actually expires? So 300. We have the hologram layout. So that shows rip player and how long till it expires. Whether it's only locked to you. So if it's not, other players can go grave robbing, which is pretty cool. You can blacklist certain worlds, obviously you don't want it in creative, you might not want it in uh, maybe a mob arena world or whatnot. We have a message, so I don't know, I'm not really a fan of this message, you could customise it however you want, you could put a nice prefix here, as you know prefixes make everything look better, or at least I think they do. So um, you could put um, Grim Reaper or something like this, I don't know. This just um, came to mind. Zombie chance, this is what I was talking about. You can turn this off if you don't want it, but it's a really neat feature. Maybe set this to 50% um, of the time that a zombie will spawn and try and kill you. And you can change the zombie name, so players, um, corpse, undead corpse or something. Try not to make it too long. But uh, that is how you do that. You can change the health. Obviously you could make it very powerful by uh, setting that to 30 or 40 or something more and finally whether uh, it spawns in combat uh, due to pvp so that is everything in the uh, config file loads of cool things in there that you can customize so let's reload our server and hopefully i don't have to do a jump cut because something's gone horribly wrong so let's kill myself and as you can see it has worked perfectly we have the grim reaper in chat telling us we have died uh, so let's just go back and as you can see our terrible terrible gravestone that we just made has spawned the hologram has spawned where we put the sign and 
that is it. So you can download this plugin for free off of Spigot, which is great. Uh, I've seen a few of these gravestone plugins. Some are better than others, but this is definitely the best. And this mega creeper wants some fame. Hello. So that is the plugin. Obviously, I'll leave a link to the plugin in the description, as I always do. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.